Aloha friends and family. What's going on guys? We are here at Joe Ball's place and this is gonna be the last video of the trip. It's our last day in Australia. These last couple days I've kind of taken a break from filming. I've been traveling around with Dave and Kenan here of course and they've gotten hey some great videos. We, we stopped by a Koala Sanctuary. We stopped by uh, some other places and I, I just sat back and kind of watched these guys film, pick up. There's kind of my, they're my seniors. They're, uh, they've been, <laughs> <laughs> They've got more experience than me and I've soaked up a lot watching them do their work. It's been a pleasure to see this all happen. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple of Joe's animals around here. And then at the end, I'm going to go over some of the highlights and pitfalls of the trip. And that's about what it'll be. So thank you guys for coming along. If you've missed any of the previous adventures, go back and watch those first so this video makes more sense to you. And uh, yeah, guys, let's have a good time. And Dave and Ken are filming up at Joe's right now, and I just kind of came down here by the creek to herb Joe's property a little bit, trying to find some stuff. Looks like he's uh, doing some honey production back there with some honeybees going off. And uh, we were just up in his aviary. He's got this beautiful aviary going on up there at his property, all these macaws and just real cool looking birds and a really well built spot. And I just figured I'd check out his stream. When I was down here, I saw something that it was just tiny little, tiny little life happening. These two ants doing this weird. Thing. Like one ant was pulling on the other ant's antenna. It didn't look very friendly. I'll tell you that much and it, it was just weird, but It's the cool little things you see when you're out traveling places like that It's you don't you're not expecting to see it and it just really shows you how much you can see In a place and there's so much to see it just depends on how close you look I was hoping to find a carpet python back here somewhere. I haven't found one yet if I don't well that that'll be it because I Today's the last day and I, I haven't found any carpet pythons yet, but just means I'll have to come back to Australia. If, I, if this trip yields zero carpet pythons in the wild, well, I'm just gonna have to come back and try it again. But why don't we pop back up the driveway to Joe's. I want him to show us what his favorite animal is and tell us a little bit about it. All right guys, we're here with Joe Ball. As I showed you, is a little spot out there, or a little, it's a beautiful property. And uh, Joe's gonna tell us a little bit about why perennies are his favorite animal. And just show us a little feed in the one right here. Well, we'll just look at this first, because I think Madam here, and Madam is seven years old. She's had two clutches for me. The Perenni is absolutely my number one reptile. And she would be my favorite because I've had her the longest of all my Perenties. And I hope she's gonna come out. She's puppy dog tame too, so. Um, she's coming. You okay, John? Like, who's this funny smelling yeah. guy next to you, Joe? With, with this girl here, I can sort of treat her like you shouldn't treat monitors, you know? I can play with her while she's eating. We can do whatever we like, you know? Because she, she literally is puppy dog tame. And, um... Let's, let's get you in position. Let's, yeah. Just come out of the shed there a little bit. Yeah, I, want, I was a little bit nervous with her because I've just given her food. So um, I think she'd sooner me leave her alone so she can play around with her chicken. But for today, she's going to humor us. You can really see the intelligence in her eyes, especially when she was checking out the yeah, food yeah. and thinking about it. Is <laughs> pretty incredible. So how long have you kept peronies for? Uh, since I got her, you know, like seven, eight years ago. Yeah, and the, uh, they are Australia's biggest and most impressive goanna. And um, just, there you go. I mean, what, what else can you say? You look at the color and the pattern and everything else on that animal. It, it, just, it just does it for me. They do say that that patterning on the back of the Parentes is, is a lot of the inspiration for some of the um, Aboriginal wall paintings. Right, right, you right. Know, yeah, so dr dream, dream time, as they, as they call it, you know. So um, it really is an Aussie icon, the Parenti. Down the, down the seat. 
Well, this girl is obviously not used to me. I think she's extremely afraid. Well, I don't think I can see that she's quite afraid of me. So I'm just gonna, just gonna leave her be so she eat her chicken in peace. She doesn't know me like she knows Joe and I'm freaking her out, so I don't wanna do that anymore. I'm just gonna give her some space, but Joe's gonna feed some carpet pythons. Maybe we'll come back and check on this girl, see how she's doing. Oh, here they all come, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> So a highly intelligent person, which is something I've never claimed to be, would have written down all of the highlights and pitfalls to share with you guys. I didn't do that. I'm just going to try and pull them from my memory. It only has been a couple of weeks, but there has been a lot of time in the car. There's been lots of basically go, 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 which is great. And then, of course, the major pitfall, losing forest, kind of really shook up the trip a bit. Um, but some highlights first. Well, let's, since I already said a pitfall, let's do bad news first. The only other real pitfall was that... Uh, some of the weather didn't cooperate a lot of the time. There was a lot of rain, as you guys who were watching from the beginning saw. We had had a good amount of rain chase us out of Alice Springs. And then as we moved from Sydney up to Brisbane, uh, there was pretty much rain the entire way, so it wasn't very conducive to herping. But it was fun to ride in the car. <laughs> now, that was another pitfall. There was so much time in the car. The, I just... I don't mind being in the car. I've spent a lot of time in the car. I do spend a lot of time in the car currently. When I get back home, I have a show the next day, 100 miles from the house. I don't mind that. But when I don't get to drive at all, either just sitting in the back seat, sometimes that can be a bit draining. So three major pitfalls, forest, <sighs> car time, and disagreeable weather. Other than that, though, those are just, well, forest is a big one. But there were a lot of highlights that made the trip very worth all of the time in the car. I'd say finding the thorny devil, as I mentioned even before we left for the trip, the thorny devil was the number one animal that I really, really, really wanted to find while we were out here. And we did find that animal, so I mean, you never know when you're going herping if you're going to find it. You might get skunked for the whole trip. It could have been rain everywhere all the time the whole trip. You don't know what's going to happen. So the fact that I was able to find the number one animal that I was hoping to, that was highlight number one. And then in a close second was the parent, not the parenti, I'm sorry, the parenti, holding the parenti, that was another highlight too at the, uh, at the Hawkesbury show. Um, but highlight number two, three was finding the Owen Pelly. I didn't expect that to happen. We'd kind of been basically packing up for the day and being able to see that, from what I understand, lots of local Australians are like, they have lived there their whole lives and, and gone and looking for them and never found them ever. So the fact that we found one on our first trip is almost unbelievable, really. Uh, if you guys remember from the footage, I just basically jumped out of the uh, van, didn't put on my slippers, just hit the, hit the rocks with my bare feet, but didn't really feel it because I was so excited to, to find that snake. It's such a cool freaking snake, man. So those are the three top highlights, I suppose. But equally as cool as the animals that we found was definitely getting to spend time with Dave and meet all the cool people that I've got to meet on this trip. Everybody at the Penrith show was very warm-hearted. I had lots of good conversations with people. There was one person in particular that, that came up and just poured her heart out to me, and we had, I don't know, we must have had like 10 hugs, and just like the emotion and how much she really enjoys the channel. It, um, and just like, you know, I speak from the heart. I try to speak from the heart every time I do these. Otherwise, it seems like a waste to me to be doing the video if I'm not doing that. And I, I still, it's still something I work on on doing, like cutting off the this so much and just allowing this to come through while I'm speaking to you guys. But she, she really took a lot of the stuff that I've done in the past to heart and that was a beautiful moment for me. Also meeting Kenan for the first time because I've watched his channel for a long time. And you never know when you're gonna meet somebody person, especially when you when you watch somebody in a video and there's somebody like him who has broadcasting experience and he's really good on camera. You never know what to expect from a person in real life, especially if you spend a lot of time watching them on camera. But he ended up just being such a freaking fun dude. Like, we, were, we had so many laughs in the back of the car and just, like, swapping all these cool stories of, of growing up. It was a, a real pleasure meeting that guy as well. I'm looking forward to going out to his place and, uh, 
and doing some videos in Florida and just or just checking out his place. It, that was the thing. It was like that's why this last part of the trip I didn't even. We'd already had so much content, um, and the fact that it was raining, I was like, I don't need to film a video every single day. And, uh, yeah, uh, definitely a winning trip. I am, I am and have been ready to go home, though. As, as awesome as this trip's been, as much fun as I'm having, this has been exponentially longer than I've been away from, uh, well, I've been away from the boys for, for a similar amount of time, and Hillary for an even longer time at times, but... A uh, little baby girl, you know, I'm, no, oh, nope, nope, shouldn't have started talking about it, all right. I'm ready to go home. It's been a great trip, and that's one of the balances, um, that's one of the, the balances. Sometimes when you're at home, you know, you get, you get, like, you maybe you need to get a little space, get out a little bit, and, and this has been more than enough space, you know, honestly, I honestly don't think I'll take a trip this long again. By the time we get to the Tinley show, and get back to the house. It's gonna have been almost three weeks that I've been gone from the family. And I honestly can say that I'll never schedule this much time away from the family again because I just miss them too much. And as fun as the trip's been, I'm, I'm really ready to get home. And I was honestly ready to get home a little while ago. So um, <laughs> I'm gonna stop before I turn into a little baby as I often do here on camera. But uh, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching everything. And uh, we'll see you on the next video, y'all. Have a great day. Check this out, guys. I mean, we didn't get to see one in the wild, but I, I think this is a pretty good size. I'm pretty sure that we found a Parenti in the wild. We wouldn't be doing this with it, and not a chance in the world. Oh.